It's a pity line this morning, they ask if people not to go in. They've said 28 minutes just for joining the union. Can they ask if people are not to go in this morning? This is a protest. We're asking people this morning to show solidarity to the this I'm just trying to talk to the men. I'm talking to the men. All I'm doing is talking to the men. I'm not blocking anybody, I'm talking to the yeah? men. You're blocking me. You're blocking me. I've got the same right as you as a public person. You've got the same right as me. No more than more less than me, man. I've sent bloody bollocks. Going to bloody have a discussion with it in the canteen. There are 28 people who can't work today because they're members of bloody trade union. Bloody outrageous. It's silly. Yeah, okay. If they don't want to see me here, if no one's going near, are we going in? We're going to occupy. Come on, let's go. Let's occupy. Thank you, Francis. Look at how it's discussion point that we've had uh, from one of the lads who's actually been sacked is that down here no one can see us <laughs> and as we're not physically in the office we might as well just take the barriers and blockade the top. What do you reckon? I'll put it to you lot. Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah, we're going for that one? A portion of the Crossrail contract to BFK, that's BAM for Ovial and Kier. A section of that work has then gone to EIS uh, Limited. There's been uh, a number of issues raised by our members uh, and our representatives uh, around health and safety concerns. The uh, electricians on site uh, joined the union and uh, elected their self a rep and a health and safety representative on site. And within the first sort of week of them being elected, uh, the victimisation started against them straight away. In the tunnels they have an escape chamber that seats 20 people. If we build up the gas that happens, uh, people can escape and the main contractor had 25 people working in the tunnel and when it was brought to their attention they put the rep into a hut and refused to allow him back on site and basically isolated him from the workforce, made him stay on in the hut for 11 hours a day, freeze out throughout his shift with no work to do. Uh, the, the health and safety rep brought out the fact that there was 11,000 volt cable lying on the floor being trampled on and uh, various parts of rubble being piled on top of it and, and, and scaffolding etc. And when he took a photograph of it and, and took it up he was removed from site and sacked. And then uh, the main contractor last week decided on Friday to, uh, to remove the, uh, the subcontractor EIS from, from site. Uh, escorted all the workforce off that's unionised off of site, uh, but carried on employing the people that wasn't unionised. So we see this as a blatant attempt by the main contractor to uh, break unionisation at the start of the project. Blacklisting is all about victimisation of trade unions and this job is all about, this site and this particular protest is all about victimisation of trade unions. This is going to be one of the biggest infrastructure jobs in the whole of bloody Western Europe. It could be a very, very safe job, it could be a unionised job, or if these lot get their way, they'll drive the trade unions out and it'll be rush, 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 rush. If they want to save money, 
and we want to save lives. All the blacklist files, when you see them, time after time after time, it's about workers being blacklisted because they've raised concerns about safety, whether it's about asbestos, whether it's about electrical safety, whether it's about overflowing toilets. It's always been about health and safety issues, holiday pay, them kinds of things. And to be honest, it just ain't fucking on. You know, it ain't on in this day and age. That sort of thing should be going on. <laughs> We're looking for a, a reasonable settlement. We cannot see the logic why 28 workers, uh, who we believe probably at least had another six months or more work on this contract, are suddenly uh, dismissed without good reason. Come down and support us because attack on trade union rights is attack on everyone's rights and eventually it will, if this company is allowed to get away with it, other companies will follow suit. If you're over in bloody Australia or if you're in America or if you're up in Scotland, you can't come down in the picket line. But what you can do is you can bloody join the fight for decent health and safety where you work. Get your workers together. It's not about one person standing up and being an hero. It's about getting everyone to stick together. This is why this is going to be successful. There's not one bloke. It's because there's loads of us here sticking together. That's what you want to do back on your building site, on your factory, in your council office. Stick together. That's how we improve health and safety. That's how we improve this is something we cannot let slip. If we let companies dictate whether they have unionised workforce on site, you know, you've seen the attack that the Tories are trying to open up, calling health and safety around the, around the albatross of business and snake, and they want to get rid of independent health and safety people on site so that they can have free reign to do what they want. They will put workers' lives in jeopardy just so they can make more profit.